Of the 50 things we'd love to do before we die, swimming with dolphins is the number one on our list. Well, here in the Red Sea, you can vote with your feet by boycotting the dolphinariums and instead see them in the wild where they belong. And there's no better place than Shab Samadai near Master Alarm to get up close and personal with a huge pod of playful spinner dolphins. Interacting with these playful mammals is a special experience. At least here in the protected lagoon of Shab Samadai, the dolphins can choose whether or not to approach you. They're not trained, and nor are they given food as an incentive. These are spinner dolphins. They're smaller than their bottlenose cousins, which also frequent the Red Sea. They're just as sociable and equally curious. They live in pods or groups of up to 200 or so. And here in Samadai, the horseshoe-shaped lagoon provides the ideal shelter for them during the day, allowing them to rest and play after spending the night hunting for food on the outer walls of the reef. For a long time, the dolphins enjoyed a virtually uninterrupted life. Now the secret's out, and according to the Hagadra Environment Protection Agency, HEPCA, the number of visitors to Samadai has risen sharply in the past few years. The dolphins is attracting uh, hundreds of people on a daily basis. This is uh, it's a creature that really uh, uh, human beings have affinity to. Do dolphins are very adorable. Dolphins have uh, uh, special characters that they really, we really adore them. I don't know. Uh, I don't mind to stay the whole day, the whole week, the whole month beside dolphins, observing them, observing them in their uh, daily uh, activities, the way they hunt, the way they sleep, in the mating season, and they're, they're very interesting creatures. Sadly, the boat traffic has taken its toll and a number of dolphins were killed or injured by the inflatable boats racing around the lagoon. The only solution was to introduce tough new laws to protect the dolphins. Unbelievable that such little creatures, they have to be chased along the day with 10, 20 zodiacs around with just people coming to visit to, to take a picture. And then uh, we have uh, witnessed or uh, somebody reported that uh, dolphins has been injured from the propellers. And then unfortunately one day we found one of them, uh, a, dead, uh, a dead dolphin. The lagoon has become a no-go zone for motorised boats. Even though it's a fair old swim, the only way to reach the dolphins is by snorkeling. The number of boats mooring up at Shab Samadai is also limited to those with a special license. Even so, the rules are not easy to police, so HEPCA encourages visitors and boat owners who witness violations to report them. This is the only way to protect the long-term interests of this large family of spinner dolphins and to ensure they remain here for everyone to enjoy. For those who are lucky enough to visit the lagoon, the encounters are magical experiences they'll never forget. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. First time I've ever touched a wild dolphin in my life. I'll die a happy woman now. Having a bit of an orgy down there. It was almost pornographic, but it was very beautiful. Yeah, lovely. They were swimming around and just playing and 
turning and watching us. It's like they were observing us, not us observing them. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we saw mating dolphins and tiny little baby ones and everything, so it's absolutely fantastic. Lots of um, sexual interaction happening, which is quite um, interesting and fun to see. But no, it's good fun. Well worth the um, 200 meter swim. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and just hordes of them, you know, in groups, that are even a, bit, a little small baby one tagging along underneath. It's very exhilarating. Fab. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, I touched them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They swam straight towards me. A couple of times. Really nice.